world, my name is Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. The main purpose of my blogs right now is to talk about what it is like for me to live on the autism spectrum. I also like to give advice to people as to whether they are autistic or not. And then I like to put the everyday average a neurotypical in their place that they think they're being such a know-it-all, but they're really being a pain in the butt in their place. But you know what? They have to live with me so tough and shut up, you, uh, you annoyingly disgusting neurotypicals. And then I recently added another topic to um, the category of autism. I am starting to go onto Twitter and read articles about what's going on around the world and what's going on in the research world and, and uh, who, you know, which autistic star is in the media and like um, a, a wonderful valedictorian by the name of Montel, uh, Montel Medley and uh, he's, he's autistic and he got a, uh, was it, he got his diploma with a 4.0 and uh, he was someone who was, who was very nonverbal when he was very young but his mother was able, enough, able to find some angels that were willing to work with him and uh, he was able to learn to talk and they found out that he was very self-determined and very self-disciplined, so now he's going off to college. Uh, anyway, I'll save that for another time. And then I would like to take my blogs and turn them into a mini Good Morning America and a slash Today Show for the nerd world right here on YouTube. Since uh, Good Morning America and Hello World are two of my favorite shows to watch, and, I mean, listening to all of those anchors just makes me smile. and. Uh, I just I admire Kathy Lee Gifford and Savannah and Hoda and Al Broker and Katie Couric, you name it. Um, but right now I would like to talk about an experience. So on uh, June 17, 2014, I had gone on a scheduled interview on Tuesday and um, it was at a uh, retail shop for uh, people to uh, bring, turn that turn damaged cell phones in for repair and uh, what I would be doing would be selling uh, expensive cases to help people uh, protect their phones and um, I went on the interview I typed up a list of questions I I thought of everything in my mind I was going to say and I went on the interview asked lots of questions and it turned out they were looking for uh, for somebody with lots of experience and I only had uh, maybe uh, a month of uh, experience in two retail locations back when I was 20 years old and um, there, there were two seasonal positions at the same time and then I had tried to sell Avon it but you know that wasn't good enough for them nonetheless I tried to win them over by um, by letting them know that I have a really really great memory and I'm a visual thinker and that I w and I, I'm very detail oriented and I told them about my blogs, I sent them my resume when I was, not resume, but references and I wrote a thank you note when I was finished. Nonetheless, they decided not to hire me. Why? Because I didn't have enough experience. Well, here's why I don't have the background that employers are looking for. Well, um, about 10 years ago, um, I had gone through vocational rehab and they wanted a doctor's report. so. They sent me to a, um, a psychologist to give me a 45 minute evaluation. Well, after he met with us, he wrote a, he wrote a, report, a pretty serious report and he automatically assumed that I was not work material. He thought that I seemed to have a very quick temper and he decided that I, I only belonged in a sheltered workshop because he didn't think I could handle the high stress environment, but he did. He definitely uh, knew that I that I have Asperger's syndrome. It just he gave me the creeps, and I didn't like him, and something about him was off. So anyway, I went to vocational rehab, and vocational rehab sent me to a sheltered workshop on a 30-day work evaluation to see as to whether I could work or not. And they said that if uh, if I was able to work, the vocational rehab would pick up the pace and help me find a job. Well, vocational rehab did not do anything. They uh, left me at the hands of the sheltered workshop, so they sent me to a warehouse uh, with job coaches that on a program through the DOL, which is Department of Labor. And uh, it was during that time there that I worked as an inventory scanner, and I looked at broken or cracked pieces, and if, or, and I looked for them. And uh, I also scanned carts or recycled computer parts. 
I mean, the job could be very relaxing, but I just felt that after a while, they didn't really teach me anything new. I, I felt like I was being babysat, and I felt like um, I, was, I was being disabled by that system. And then um, it seemed that every time I messed up on something new, they said, well, you're not capable of that, and that you messed up the system. And then, they, and then my boss would end up giving the task to somebody else, and I would sit and cry about it. Why? Well, because uh, people jump to conclusions and assume that I was lower functioning than I really was. So, so the point is, nobody really, uh, really took the time to work with me. Nobody really took the time to find a good fit. They just pigeonholed me in this job and assumed that that's where I should be the rest of my life. And I said, no, I'm going to get a doctorate in psychology. I mean, and I, I absolutely could not stand one of the job coaches. She was just so negative. I mean, I would ask her to help me and she'd say, no, you need to stay in this company. We're really concerned that if you found another job, you wouldn't be able to hold it down. And if you tried to come back, we're afraid that they wouldn't hire you back anyway. So you better stay here and you better stay on social security, blah, blah, blah. And so that's why I don't have any skills in, re in retail. Thanks to our system, you know, which really stinks, and I'm so mad about that. So, anyway, in closing this, um, I ended up writing a, a little thank you note back to uh, to the one of the guys that interviewed me, and they said that they couldn't offer me a position. I wrote back and I said, "Well, I thank you for your time too, and um, I'm so I'm really sorry you feel that way." And I just clicked send. So, uh, until next time, my name is Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm signing off now. Goodbye.